Hey guys, it's me again, Don Craker, and uh, I'm in the backyard over here but at my neighbor's house, uh, Domingo. He's in his 70s, he's a really nice guy, and uh, I've been clearing out some pineapples. Uh, I took them all out, and actually they just got taken away. I didn't, wasn't going to make a movie on that, or a video on that, but he has back here these coffee plants, or coffee trees, and the cherries are red, so I'm actually, he, he said I can pick them. And I'm gonna make some coffee. So, let's see if I can get back up here. There you go, now you can see it better. And uh, this is just a little thing over here. Some of these aren't really, these aren't ready to go yet, but the red of the berry, <laughs> the sweeter the, the sweeter the wine, <laughs> or the sweeter the coffee will be. So I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna get. And uh, this is just a little thing, so off I go. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to go over. This one over here, uh, they seem to be a lot redder over there. These ones here over, over there aren't. I think he's got three or four coffee trees, so I'm gonna get him off of this guy over here. I'm helping him clear out his uh, the backyard over here because it's, it's so overgrown, you know, uh, so, uh, to even get to this stuff. Uh, okay, so, all right, let's, let's get in here. <laughs> let's get some red guys here. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, I'll even pinch it in a little bit more. Okay. Here's a red guy, and a red one. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I think I told you he had brought them back. He brought the, um, he's from Cuba, Domingo, and I'm pretty sure he said he brought them back from Cuba with him. A couple of trees, I didn't even know they had coffee in Cuba, but I've heard of Cuban coffee, but I don't know, it is what it is. So, here we go. Oh, there's some air there. I'm gonna get quite a bit. So, okay. Just trying to stay away from the ones that are kind of green. And this one here, this is another, this is another tree here. Yeah, there's a couple here. Let me see if you can see them. I'll have, I'll fix all this stuff in the editing. All right. Oh, here's some nice red ones here, look at them. They almost look like cranberries, really. Honestly, I've never seen a coffee tree before until uh, the neighbor, you know, found out what it was. And he's really nice. They're, they're older. They don't really want to be on camera or anything. You know, I get it. But they are good neighbors. They're really nice. Cut their grass and stuff. And, you know, they're nice. You do what you do, how you do. <laughs> so, I'm getting close to where maybe I have a pot of coffee maybe this one this one over here seems oh there's a lot of them up there but they're a little too hot oh you know what right over here get them in there and then i'll do the rest of the process taking the uh getting the coffee bean out of there and i've watched oh oh oh, oh look at this one up here well hopefully i can see if i can get that on the thing this is going to be nice here well uh, Ah, oh, there we go. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm getting getting some good red ones here. Oh. I'll be back after I... I'll be back and get some more later, because they're going to be getting uh, more and more uh, ripe. I just wanted to get some and just try it out and see how it goes, because there's a lot of... There's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of coffee back here. <laughs> All right. So, on that, I got this many here. Let me move my uh, thing around here. And that's what I got so far. And uh, this is a pretty cool little thing with the coffee tree. <laughs> uh, little things, guys, little things. And I got cool neighbors. All right, cool. Now for the next thing. <laughs> I gotta get next door. All right, off I go. Okay, guys, so this is the deal. I'm gonna actually try a little thing with uh, <clears throat> using, uh, this is a, a souffle uh, to you know make souffle and creme brulee and stuff. And I'm just going to rotate them. There's a bunch of other people on YouTube that are, you can get a, 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 a board or whatever. You just got to separate them. And I bet, like I said, I don't have the machine. But uh, I, was, I did a couple of testers, and this seems to be working out pretty good. So we're going to get this going. And you can see they are coming out pretty good there. And the other stuff that I was I was reading some more the um, the cherries the the skin stuff 
it's actually full of um, antioxidants and there is caffeine and stuff in it. Uh, but they're actually using these to make tea. So you can, out of a coffee tree, you can get actual coffee and you can also make tea from the skins. And they also have some extract and stuff as well. So uh, it's just food for thought, literally. So I'm gonna go over these guys here and see if I can get them all to get busted up and hopefully we'll, we'll get this thing here and go from there. Like I said, I've never done anything like this, so I'm gonna try and make it go as fast as possible because I have, uh, I got a bunch of other stuff to do today, but I figured I love coffee and because I'm a coffee whatever but I don't like uh I can't go out and buy it I have to make coffee at home I I can't pay more than I don't know 50 cents for a cup of coffee and my head is too much but that's just me and with the neighbor I'll have a bunch of coffee and it, I hope hopefully it'll be good I have no idea this is just you know I never have done anything like this before thing so and in all my years of cooking, over well over 25, going on 30, uh, this is just a really cool something different. So I'm going to learn something today. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've got to get these out in the sun and start them to drying. And that's what we're going to have going on. Okay, guys, I'm finally done. It took me like an almost an hour to get <clears throat> this here extra here and that. Is all, these are all separated, so that's good. And so now I'm going to just put this over here. And I'm going to rinse these guys off real quick again to get some of that little bit of debris. There's stems and stuff in there. But they could actually dry in the pan or whatnot. So uh, I'm going to wash these guys one more time. M move the stuff around. Get this stuff here out. Okay, so I am learning. This is a learning experience. So we've got this going, and I've been picking. Uh, I was picking some of these the little stem pieces out, and the, uh, some of the stuff that's just not very desirable. These things are so much better than the uh, the fake ones. Those toy guys. So. That's straining a little bit more. Get the other skin over here. That's reserved. This is reserved to get dried. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, I'm going to dry these out to get the rest of the wet out of them. And get them outside. So I'll be able to go through these and pick all the little residue and stuff out later. But this is just to get my, um, just to get it outside, get it in the sun, because uh, <clears throat> I want to just, I want to get it started and have it going. All right, figured I get get the water out of it to start them. Come on, guys. All right. I think that's pretty much all off of that rag. So you can see there's a couple of off color ones. I'll, I'll root through that. And there's just a couple of stems here and there. So I'm not really worried about any of that stuff. I just want to get them outside and dry them. All right, I gotta get my shoes on. I got my socks. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, guys, you can see there's a couple of stems, and like I said, and a little bit of that, but eh, I'll go through that when the stuff is um, all dried out. And I gotta flip them tomorrow. If I can remember, I'll flip them and make a put it in the video because this is gonna be this is gonna be a couple day video. This thing here. <clears throat> well, the good thing is it's actually kind of sunny out. Well, it was. But I'm gonna put it over here. My old rusty home crest uh, stargazer chair. See if you can see it there. <laughs> it's gonna go right here. <sighs> and uh, so I'll be back tomorrow and I'll move them around and see what we get. Okay guys, it's been about 24 hours and it looks like my beans are drying out. 
So I got three more days to dry these guys. And I'll sift out this little funky stuff and do whatever. Uh, so <laughs> it's looking, look, it actually looks like coffee beans. <laughs> oh God, I tell you, I do get into some stuff. All right, yeah, there's some funky ones too. Ah, I'll sift them all out when I'm not gonna do it now, but I got it. another day. All right, and that's the progress. Whoop, get in there. Okay, guys, uh, this is my link right here uh, for Cafe Streets. Or cafe, cafe. Uh, how to roast coffee beans in the oven. So I've gone over this thing here. I'll leave a link for this. And uh, I have my oven preheating right now. Or actually, I think it just beeped. Uh, I'm going to make a medium roast. It says for medium, it's 410 to 426. Uh, my oven runs a little hot, so I just put it on 400, so it should be it should be around there, close enough. And uh, I got to put it in for a minute, and then we're going to get over here and uh, get into this. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, guys, so here we go. I've got my coffee beans over here, my little bag. There's um, this is just a little a little tiny bit that I'm doing, so let's get into this thing. Like I said, I'll give you guys a link, and my oven is at 400, which is probably around closer to 410 or 420. Uh, so, I'm getting into it. Okay, guys, so here's my beans. And uh, I've, I've looked at other methods and stuff how to do this, and uh, I'm just going with this guy here. You gotta throw them out here like this. Make sure they're not crowded in the pan. And then we're gonna go in the oven for one to two minutes. I'm gonna put it in for two minutes and see what we get. Let me put the light on. Boop. Okay. Echo, set timer for one minute. Echo, set timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. Okay. I'm not gonna make you hold on for a minute, but I will, when she gets ready to do her thing, I'll be done. And then I'll get back. Echo, cancel. Okay. Still not very brown. Actually, I, I turned up the uh, oven to 420. It's just, I haven't heard a first crack, so I'm going to put another one in for another three minutes. Echo, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. And we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, that's been about, I think, 18 minutes for everything, so... <clears throat> I haven't heard them crack or do anything, and I don't want to cook them very much longer because uh, they look like coffee to me. So I don't know if I did something wrong or whatever, but uh, they look brown, so I'm going to cool them off and do the, do the thing, I guess. Like I said, this is just a, a goofy thing that I'm playing. Uh, i just never actually done this, made this co coffee like this before, so... But it looks, it smells like coffee. <laughs> the house smells like coffee right now, so... I'm guessing this would be a light roast. I have no idea. I have to let these things cool and then sit and vent their gases or whatever the thing is. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they didn't split or anything, so I don't know what the deal is with them. But I will cool them off and finish this stuff. I just don't want, there's a couple of them in there are burnt. That's it. That's what I'm got. That's what I got. So. I will be done this when I I'll cool them off and grind them in two days. Off I go. Okay, guys. Well, it's been a couple days, and I, uh, I degassed these beans. Like I said, <clears throat> I've never done this before, and I just wanted to make some coffee from the, the trees outside from next door. All right, let's get into this. I'm going to get my grinder. Got the grinder. I actually have used to grind a lot of beans back in the old days, and this guy here is... It's like, I don't know, 25 years old for this old brawn. So, I'm getting into it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do it. Let's get it done. Uh, don't Jesus with this. Come on you. Just gonna do a quick little pulse a couple times. Yeah, they, these, these guys, they look pretty good to me. Looks like a medium roast to me. So, let's get them going. There we 
get a little bit more. All right, that looks like that looks like coffee, and it smells like coffee. <laughs> Hopefully, we get coffee out of this thing. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to put this in here and grind some more beans and hopefully they won't fall out on the floor this isn't yeah this isn't a whole lot or anything you know i just wanted to make some coffee so i'm making coffee one way or another nope not yet Looks like coffee to me. Yeah, a little bit more. Saw so one little guy up there doing his thing. There we go. Put you over here. So, sorry about the light. I have terrible light in here, but this looks like coffee should look. And it absolutely smells really, really, really good. So, uh, I have eight cups of water in my uh, thing, in my coffee pot. I don't usually do it this way. I gotta get a spoon. Interpure thrifted spoon. Okay. Da -da. Nope. There's a little bean didn't didn't get all grounded up. Okay, so there you go. I do. Uh, what is it? One third cup for eight cups of <coughs> coffee. So we're gonna put you in there, put you over here, and push the button. And we'll see what we get in a minute. Okay guys, well the steam's coming out. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out. And it just went off. There's a bunch of steam coming over here. So, uh, I'm getting into this. <laughs> Yay! Okay guys, uh, I actually wanna sniff it. It smells like coffee to me. Okay, I take two sugars and one cream. So, looks really thin though. It's not really brown. But, you know, I don't know. We'll find out what happens. Okay. Yeah, I typically just drink, I've been just drinking uh, Folgers for years now. Oh, that's how awfully hot. Actually, hold up. I'll show you. Okay, guys. So, uh, here we go. And I haven't off-camera done tasted this thing yet. So, let's see. It tastes like coffee, but it tastes like really thin coffee. It doesn't suck. It's not bad. You know, it's not bad for what for Florida grown coffee. And I didn't hear a crack or it might have cracked and I just I didn't hear it. I ain't got three years, but it actually tastes like coffee. So it doesn't suck. It's not bad. It's not the greatest cup of coffee I've had, but I've actually had worse. Like cheap motel or cheap hotel coffee. It does it tastes better than that crap if you've ever had that. So I'm gonna drink this and I'm happy with what I got. So it worked and I'm done. <laughs> Not bad. Eh? Go figure. And with that, please, please like and subscribe. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Off I go. Beep.